All right, with stocks flirting with record highs, is a summer correction looming? Here now is Paul Christopher, head global market strategist at Wells Fargo Investment Institute. So, Paul, you expect the S&P 500 to hit 2230 or 2330 by the end of the year. That would, on the, on the lower end, be an 8.5% drop from where we are now at 2436. So do we get a correction coming this summer? We probably have sometime between now and the autumn. We probably have some give back in stocks as valuations consolidate. People will be looking into 2018, thinking about the Fed, about inflation, and about fiscal policy and what Congress might be able to do. Those are going to be some big questions. So with a target on the S&P 500 between 2230, uh, 2230 and 2330, that implies roughly flat growth for the market in 2017. What does that tell you about the broader bull market? Is it still intact? We still think so, Scott. The, the economy, we think, probably has a couple of more years to go. That means earnings will continue to grow. But we do think late in the cycle, as we are, with the Fed raising rates especially, we're going to have more time, more opportunities for investors to double think or rethink <laughs> how much they're willing to pay for a dollar of earnings. All right, so then investors should use these pullbacks potentially as buying opportunities. I mean, what do you make of technology stocks we're seeing Amazon and Alphabet over $1,000 a share. It's pretty incredible. Yeah, that's pretty incredible. We went back to even weight on technology last autumn. We thought maybe they were a little bit overdone then. We think they're even more a little overdone now. Mm -hmm. We continue to like the cyclicals where we think you've got a better chance of playing longer-term sustainable growth. Mm -hmm. Okay, so a more safer play there. A safer play. A cyclicals like the discretionary, consumer discretionary and industrials. All right, and in terms of Trump policy, we know Trump has a host of market-friendly agendas, but they seem to be stalled. So where does the Trump play fit into your S&P target? Yeah, we, we didn't make any assumptions about uh, fiscal policy reforms or implementation this year because we thought delay and dilution would be the order of the day. That's proving to be the case. There's still a chance we could get some prospect of health care reform and tax reform for early 2018. The markets might start to discount that in late 17, but we'll play that when we get to it. Right now, we're not expecting or, or forecasting any sort of fiscal policy uh, improvement or boost for the market. Yeah, and don't forget, we have that big August recess in Congress, so nothing's going to get That's done right. then. Yes. All right, Paul Christopher, we'll leave it there. Thanks so much for joining All right, us. Thanks, Scott. All right, I'm Scott Gam, and you're watching The Street.